It's time for another Herb of the Week with Lady Speech. Today, we talking about the magic and the usefulness of peppermint. What's up everybody? It's your favorite goddess king. It's your favorite pirate captain. It's your favorite auntie uncle. It's your favorite hood healer, high priest, a spiritual dominatrix, Lady Speech in the place to be and I want to welcome you to my channel. You could be anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you are somewhere in the world and you're also choosing to share just a little bit of time and space with me. So thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling any of this, if you're feeling any of me, ha <laughs> ha, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell so you can keep up with everything I'm putting down over here. Now, let's get into this week's Herb of the Week video. Shall we? Herb of the week with Lady Speech. We back, baby. And we back with peppermint. We've got a refreshing herb to talk to you about today. Peppermint. So common. Peppermint. You see it everywhere. Peppermint. It comes in so many forms, darling. And we're about to talk about the usefulness and the magic of peppermint. There's a reason why you see it a lot of places. There's a reason why you see it a lot of places. And today, we're going to talk about it. So you know the drill. Today is the basics, honey. Today is the basics, honey. I'm going to get you started. If you didn't know the medicinal, the magical uses of peppermint i'm going to give you some foundational information today but you know what i'm going to tell you i want you to go out and do your research i want you to look up with the googles i want you to get into the encyclopedias i want you to get into the reference books okay get into the reference books get into the reference books get into the reference books and do your own research do your own research do your own research we're gonna cover some basic things today, like what planets, what elements, what genders this is associated with. We're gonna get into some medicinal and magical uses, okay? But like I said, do your own research. Go and consult some trained herbalists, all right? FYI, <laughs> I've been a root worker for a while, but I'm moving into herbalist territory, baby. That's right, I'm gonna take it low and slow. We're gonna do it at a summer, but in a couple of years, darling, I can be someone who consult, consult, consult you. Yeah, I messed that song up. I can be the one to consult you. That's right, so, you know, right not right now, but very soon, I will be an herbalist anyway. I've been a root worker for years. I've been working with these herbs for years, but we're moving into that territory because I feel the need to make medicines. Speaking of medicine, this right here has been used as medicine for a very long time. We're gonna get into it. We're going to get into it, okay? I wanna remind you that I'm not the only expert here. I do know a lot about a little something something, all right? But you know a lot about a little something something too. So let me know in the comments what you use this herb for. Let me know in the comments how you've used this medicinally, how you've used it magically, in any other way you feel like letting me know how you have worked with this herb, all right? If I've left out a piece of information that you know, if you do something with it in your culture that is unique to other cultures, let us know in the comments, baby. Educate us in the comments, honey. Now that we've got all that covered, let's get into the magic, the medicine, and the uses of peppermint. Let's talk about folk names and gender. The gender that is usually associated with peppermint is masculine. Some of the folk names that you might see peppermint referred to as in old school recipes or in old school spell work is brandy mint or lament. Elements and planet. The planets that peppermint is associated with is mercury. The elements are fire and sometimes air. The deities and gods that this herb is often associated with is Pluto and Zeus. And interestingly enough, the chakra that this is associated with is the throat chakra, which peppermint is often used medicinally for throat work. 
Now when it comes to the powers of peppermint, baby, it's got a lot. You need some sleep work, peppermint. Banishing work, peppermint. Stimulation work, peppermint. Sleep work, peppermint. Purification and cleansing work, peppermint. Quick, quick, fast money work, peppermint. I'm talking luck work. I'm talking psychic ability work. I'm talking healing work. I'm talking lust work. You got it. Peppermint. Now, I know you didn't think it was done. Strength work. Vision work. Trust work. Yup, peppermint. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint. What I like about peppermint is, number one, you can find it in a lot of forms and you can find it in a lot of spaces, okay? It is accessible to a lot of people. It's not accessible to everybody, but it's accessible to a lot of people, okay? This is an herb. This is a root that you can do a whole lot of things with. If you don't have a lot of money, if you don't have a lot of access to a lot of herbs, this is a one-stop shop, okay? This is an herb that you can activate on many different levels to work with you on many different things, okay? Now, no matter what type of, you know, witch practitioner, magic person you are, a lot of us fall into the minimalist way of life or the maximalist way of life. No matter if you are in the minimalist way of life, Life or the maximalist way of life peppermint I would highly suggest peppermint being a part of your regular stash I've only I've only I've only tipped the surface when it comes to a lot of the powers that are associated with peppermint it does even more than what I've already mentioned okay but everything I just said you need some help with that peppermint peppermint and it might help you with a whole lot more. Another thing that I wanna mention about peppermint is that in that mint family, so we've got peppermint, spearmint, and a lot of y'all didn't know that pennyroyal is a part of the peppermint family, a part of the mint family. If you have a spell that calls for spearmint and you don't have spearmint, throw some peppermint in there. If you have a spell that calls for pennyroyal and you don't have that, you can substitute peppermint for that. If you have a spell that calls for peppermint, but you ain't got it, but you got some spearmint, you can substitute that for that, okay? In many, many spells, not all of them, but in many, many spells, the mint family are really great substitutes for one another. So just keep that in mind. If you're doing a working and it calls for spearmint and you ain't got it, throw some peppermint in that. Like I said, it has many different uses and it covers a lot of different themes. So keep that in mind when you're doing your working. So let's get into the juicy part, baby. How can you use peppermint? Not only can you use it for a lot, what I really like about peppermint is you can use it in the most simplistic of ways. So medicinally, a lot of people have used peppermint to ease their stomach. I know when I was younger, my grandmother, if I was having a stomach, stomach ache and we were out, she had a peppermint candy in her purse that was coming out and being given to me. And that did in fact soothe a lot of my digestive issues. So medicinally, it's been used for digestive issues for a while. Of course, it's been used to freshen the breath, baby. I mentioned before that this is used in a lot of luck work, okay? This is used in a lot of, you know, intelligence work in addition to that. So putting a piece of peppermint in your mouth, praying over it, uh, activating those qualities in it before you speak. I like using peppermint to speak a prosperity spell, okay? All of the elements are at work when I'm doing my workings, baby. Not just what I'm speaking, the words that I'm speaking, but I'm, t I'm looking at and I'm treating the vessel that the words are coming out of, my throat and my mouth. Because peppermint is associated with prosperity, I will eat a piece. And so when I'm speaking my spells of prosperity, that is literally coding those words as it is coming out of my mouth, okay? Let's talk about purification, all right? Uh, so taking, using peppermint in a spiritual bath, I want to say this. If you're going to do that, be very careful. <laughs> You know the effect that peppermint has. It's very refreshing. It's very, okay, it might it might burn and make the other parts tangle, all right? I have used it in a spiritual bath, and it has been at a minuscule amount. <laughs> Even when I'm just doing the pour over baths, I will actually use a lot more peppermint if I'm doing a hand spiritual bath or a head bath or a foot bath. I will use it sometimes if I'm doing 
a lot more of it if I'm doing those type of spiritual baths. So that is another way that you could use it, okay? In regards to purification, taking the herb itself and rubbing it on your furniture, uh, rubbing it on your floors, rubbing it on your walls, using it in wall washes, using it in floor washes, using it in floor purification spells, really, really good things. Again, even just taking the root itself and rubbing it on the furniture helps to ward evil away, helps to keep evil away helps to purify things okay um wearing it has been known to has been said to keep the evil uh at bay keep the evil away or keep the negative energy away as well as wearing it putting it in mojo bags braiding it inside of you know herbal bracelets herbal necklaces herbal you know wearable jewelry um is is said to ha uh, help ward off the bad spirits and ward off sick energy Peppermint has been known to be used in safe travel spells or safe travel workings. Um, so if you do a lot of traveling, if you are a truck driver or you commute uh, long ways or even a short way, if you do a lot of driving, a lot of traveling, peppermint is a really good thing to add to your travel spells, to your mojo bags, to your sachet powders, whatever it is that you use to do your workings around your traveling, if you're making conjure oils, whatever it is that you're doing, peppermint could be an, a really good addition for that and to that. Peppermint has been known to be used in divination, divination and also in dream work and visioning work, okay? So one of the ways that it's been used for is it's prayed over, it's activated, and then put in sachets or put in, um, put in, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, sachets or little bags and put inside the pillow and uh, that accompanying with prayers and the petitions towards your spirits and towards your inner subconscious uh, to, to dream about your future, to dream about the things that you want to see, to ask some questions. So it's been used in dream work and it's been used in spell work. Doing the combination of creating an herbal nighttime tea, drinking that as well as putting that under your pillow can help you in lucid dreaming work or dream management manifestation work as well. Peppermint is something that if you utilize it in your cooking, if you utilize it in the kitchen, even when you're just adding it to recipes, now that you know a little bit more of what it does and you have some indication about uh, some of its powers, be more intentional when you are utilizing it. As you buy things and you notice that it has the ingredient of peppermint, spend some time with that. It's like, I drink a lot of tea. And in the wintertime, there tends to be a lot more peppermint flavors out, you know, because of Christmas and all that good stuff. If I pick up a tea that has peppermint in it I'll just take a moment sit with it and like activate these things that I am looking for in my life and simply dr drink it in and take that essence in so being more intentional being mindful with the herb as you are dealing with it even again taking a peppermint stick as you are eating the peppermint stick as you're eating peppermint candy just being even mindful about that uh, and activating these things as you were eating it as you are consuming it as you are adding it into your everyday life let's talk about prosperity work baby this is a really good herb for your short money work now I am a practitioner I'm a witch I am a magic person who believes in doing long money work and short money work okay uh, your long money work is literally that it's you planning for the future it is you uh, making sure that you continue to open up opportunities for you to get that long money okay opening up doors for you to continue to make uh, good prosperity in the long term and also I believe I'm a believer in short term money work too because sometimes you need $20 right now sometimes you need $200 right now sometimes you need $5,000 right now okay <laughs> and peppermint is really good to aid you in that again you can do your elaborate workings dress your candles do your oils with all of this and you can also quite simply just keep some in your purse you can also quite simply treat your your wallet so again when you get a new wallet Okay, when you get a new wallet, bless that wallet. Okay, take you some peppermint, okay, and rub your wallet down. Sprinkle, sprinkle some peppermint in your wallet. I also like to keep bay leaves in my wallet. I'm really glad I just said that because I need to refresh that I just changed wallets and I need to put some new bay leaves in there. I like to do bay leaves in my wallet for prosperity work and uh, a little bit of peppermint too for prosperity work. Make you a little sachet bag if you want to because pe peppermint can be a little messy. Get you one of those um, porous see-through mesh uh, bags. You can get them kind of small. Uh, get you one of them bags, put you some bay leaves, throw you some peppermint in there and put that. keep it in your wallet, honey. And every time you open your wallet, 
make you a get you pull you a little affirmation mantra out from the internet or from your behind or from the, between the crack of your your, your skulls <laughs> And say that affirmation, uh, that prosperity affirmation, every single time you open up your wallet, every single time you see that. The benefit to that is your wallet and your money gonna come out smelling good. Every single time you take your <laughs> ID out, every time it's gonna smell of good things. And eventually, what actually is gonna end up happening if you do that, you will associate subconsciously the smell of bay, of bay leaves, the smell of peppermint with prosperity, and automatically think on those things, which will bring that energy, that will, that'll continuously bring that energy into your life. So simply throwing it in your purse, putting it in your wallet, when you get a new purse, when you get a new wallet, rub those things down and bless your wallet with that. Anywhere you put it in, you carry it in your pockets. If you ain't someone, cause some of y'all don't, don't carry purses or wallets, which I think is admirable. I am a maximalist. I need a purse because I have things. <laughs> I have things to carry, okay? I have things to carry. But if you are one of those people, put it in your pockets. <laughs> Quite simply, throw a little peppermint in your pocket. 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 Or grandma's purse, okay? Grandma's purse. If you out here wearing a bra, um, I love to, I, I wear bralettes these days. Either I'm not wearing a bra or I wear bralettes. But if I'm wearing a bralette and I'm gonna put some things in it like crystals. <laughs> crystal in my bralette i love to keep crystals in grandma's purse um i also keep herbs okay you know and peppermint is one i would just throw in there i wouldn't even put no mesh on i would just throw it in there and the benefit again you get you some aromatherapy during the day you get you some nice aromatherapy as you sweat and moving around you're gonna get a big whiff grandma's purse is gonna release the oils as you sweat the oils from the peppermint <laughs> Every, it, there's a lot of different ways to do the magic. There are a lot of different ways to do the magic. There are a lot of different ways to do the magic. And there are many different ways that you can use peppermint in yours. And lastly, let's talk about divination. So if you are someone who is a tarot reader or you divine or you are a psychic, you tell the future, this is a grape herb that can help you with all of that. So just drinking it in a tea with other things, making a nice little potion or elixir for yourself to consume before you do a divination. If you are someone who likes to, if you divine in other places, like you know, you're not in a set space and you wanna cleanse that space, like I said, it helps with purification too. So you can either just sprinkle a little bit of the herb down uh, over and then lay your divination mat over that or put the cards directly on that to aid in the process of you divining. If you are a baby diviner and you are looking to enhance your skills, this can be something, peppermint can be something that can help you. So like I said, carrying it, putting it in a mojo bag, um, you know, putting it in your pocket, keeping it in your wallet, okay? Getting some peppermint essential oil, you getting one of those like volcanic pendants that you can put the oil on and it smells all day long. Um, eating a piece of peppermint candy while activating those particular powers within peppermint can help you out a whole lot. And that's that on Herb of the Week with Lady Speech. And that's that on Peppermint. Let me know in the comments. Did you learn something from this video? Did you understand and realize that Peppermint can be used in so many ways and can be used for so very much? Did I fail to mention a power that you have used it for in the past or a way in which you have used it? Let us know in the comments. I know a lot. Yes, I am an expert to some degree, shape, and form over here. But so are you. So are you. If I missed a point or you got something special that your culture does with it, you let me know in the comments, baby. Go ahead and educate us all, honey. Your expertise is welcome here. Your expertise is welcome here okay i want to say that peppermint is a very strong herb okay so i want you to start out using it sparingly all right a little goes a long way and that's actually for most herbs most things a little goes a long way start small and then work up into big things okay start small and then work up into big things okay all right uh uh okay uh uh, all right. 
okay. With all that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, gold star for you. Thank you for your time and attention and participating in this Herb of the Week with Lady Speech. You know I love giving it to you. You know I love educating you. You know I love sharing with you. So thank you for sharing your time and attention with me. And with that being said, I didn't want to take up all your time. I just wanted to take up a little bit of your time and I've done that, okay? So just in case no one has told you today, number one, you are beautiful. You are divine and you are deserving simply because you exist simply because you exist and number two if you like what I'm doing if you like what you see if you're feeling any of this if you're feeling any of me uh, hit the like button subscribe button notifications bell that way you're always informed about what it is that I'm doing over here do you understand me now God goddess Loa Orisha my ancestors the entire universe and the spirits willing I'm gonna go ahead and see you in the next video Peace.